Everton were beaten last night 6-5 on penalties by Southampton in the Carabao Cup third round. The two teams drew 1-1 in the 90 minutes. Uh, Sean Dyche held his post-match press conference. This is what the manager had to say about the game. Well, inevitably, we wanted to win the game, and we haven't done, albeit going to penalties, which is always a tricky one. Um, from the team's point of view, after piecing together a team this morning um, with three players going down downhill overnight, then, I mean, I think we've given as good as we can get with, with the players available. I think we've got 12 outfield players currently fit or not ill. Um, so to piece that together this morning and deliver a performance that I thought could win, especially the chance we created. And I know that's been a challenge to us for even before my time, taking them chances that kill a game. And we haven't done that tonight, but a lot of the performance was, was right enough to win a game. Yeah, hugely disappointing night at Goodison Park. Everton deservedly beaten, in my opinion, by Southampton. They dominated the uh, the game. Everton had big chances, don't get me wrong. Jesper Lindstrom missed a couple of big opportunities, certainly the one at 1-0. Although 2-0 hasn't been a great lead for us lately, has he? Um, but as the game sort of was at a stalemate in the second half, Sean Dyche decided to bring off Beto and replace him with left-back Ashley Young. Uh, the crowd didn't like the uh, the decision. I don't believe they were booing Ashley Young. I think they were booing the substitution. But this was the manager's take on the crowd's reaction. Well, look, I mean, that's, that's a tough thing about football. You know, it's it's... A tough industry and, and crowds have opinions about varying players and, and that's one of them things. Um, he's certainly a tough customer, that side of things, mentally, there's no problem there. Keno's had his question, I thought Keno played very well tonight and, and showed his, his, his worth to the side with a couple of moments second half of top quality defending when he's you know, having to clear things from under his, well certainly in his six yard goal with, with sort of calmness. Um, that's one of them things, you know, the, the demand on myself is high and that's the way it goes. I, I totally understand it. Young is old enough and wise enough to know this is the way the industry is sometimes. But I think he's a fantastic professional and I think everyone knows that within our group. And that's just one of the things, you know, the, the fans have a right to say whatever they want to say. I've never questioned the fans there and I'm certainly not going to. As I said, uh, that substitution didn't really enamour the manager to the uh, to the fans with him. Um, because obviously, 1-1 one, one at that stage, when you are taking off your centre-forward, it's fine if he'd have brought on, say, Martin Sheriff, who, listen, I'm not saying Martin Sheriff's ready right now to play in Everton's first team, but if he would have sort of replaced him with another striker, I think the fans would have been like, OK, let's see, let's get behind the lad. But when you're trying, or you, as a supporter, you want the team to go on and win the game, and you're taking off a centre-forward and you're replacing him with a left-back, it sends out the wrong message. And I know he put Illiman and Jai up front, but then we continue to knock it long. But anyway, the manager was asked about the fan reaction to the Ashley Young substitute. This is what he said. Just trying to adjust the team to go and win a game. You know, we, we didn't think that, that we were getting the chance we wanted. So trying to change the style, Illy's kind of a different player, as you know. Riggles gets turned, breaking the back line, that sort of thing. So just trying to affect a game to win it. We've got one, currently one fit striker. So... You know, it's unlikely they're going to play every minute of that game tonight. So we're just trying to affect a game to go and win it. Sean Dyche also confirmed that James Tarkovsky missed out on the tie with a back injury he's been suffering with since pre-season. Dominic Calvert-Lewin and Vitaly Mikhalenko missed out through illness, while Adrissa Garnagay missed out due to personal issues regarding his father. And on... Not a, a great night for Everton Football Club. Everton's under-21 side were beaten 4-1 at Stockport County in the Bristol Motors Trophy. Uh, Omari Benjamin scoring a late consolation goal for Everton. Kevin Campbell's memorial service has been held this afternoon at St Luke's Church. Yeah, former Everton players turned up to pay their respects to Everton's former number nine and captain. The likes of Peter Reid, Graeme Stewart, Ian Snowden, Frank Sinclair, who a uh, former Chelsea player, of course, played and they knew Kevin Campbell for a long time. Um, David Unsworth, Franny Jeffers, and more all turned up to remember Kevin Campbell and pay their respects. Former Everton assistant manager Alan Irvine was there as well. That's it for the Everton News Daily. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.